Hey, how's it going? I'm Marley, a second year med student. And after one of my previous videos about whether Anki, the program, flashcard program, was worth it for first year med students, I got some DMs about doing similar kinds of reviews for other third party or outside resources geared towards students in med school and also PA school, nursing school students. So here we go. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Today we'll take a look at and compare two very popular visual learning resources among med students, Sketchy and Pixarize. Both are online programs that essentially take complex conditions, concepts, and pathways that students have to learn and weave them into a cartoon format, like a scene or a storyline with memory hooks and visual mnemonics to create something that will stick in our minds better and improve recall of these topics and details. And I have to admit, this way of learning is actually really effective for a lot of people, including me. Now that we've established what they are in general, let's look at the differences between the two of them, starting with Sketchy. Sketchy is divided into six broad categories, three more established, well-developed ones, and three newer ones. The three main ones are Sketchy Path or Pathology, Sketchy Micro, Microbiology, and Sketchy farm and <laughs> took me a second sketchy farm pharmacology and the three newish additions are biochem physiology and anatomy most of the people who use sketchy will probably agree that the micro and farm sections are gold they are amazing like i literally do not know how i would have learned all the bugs and drugs over the past year without sketchy but the path section in general isn't as highly praised i mean it's fine and i've found it useful for organizing larger sets of like similar conditions in my head for example like i'm in renal block right now so kidney stuff and i found sketchy path helpful for um, organizing the different manifestations of nephrotic and nephritic syndromes but i've found many other pathology specific sketchy videos to be a little too long a bit jumbled, hard to follow, and therefore harder to remember. As for the newer sections, the biochem, physiology, and anatomy, I haven't found those useful just because they're not as well developed. Like the anatomy category literally has nine videos in it so far. And I'm sure like in a couple of years, these will be filled out better. But as of right now, the making of this video today, there are better resources out there for biochem, anatomy, and physiology. And another issue with Sketchy is that it's pretty expensive. Like here, I'll pull up a, you know, what the page looks like so you can take a look at it, but it's, it's like the most popular option is 400 bucks to cover everything for a year. Okay, that's kind of a lot. They also have like a six month option, might be a little more affordable, even though it's not as like good of a bang for your buck, at least it's not a ton up front. And I know that you used to be able to just buy like one section, like just sketchy farm or just sketchy micro. I'm not seeing any options for that online anymore. I don't think that they offer that anymore. I think it's just you pay, you know, $400 for the year, or in this case, I think today it's like 320, it's on sale for 320 for a year and you get all of it. So it might be overkill for people who are like, oh, I'm pretty good on farm. I don't really need that or micro or whatever. So it's kind of a bummer. I really wish they offered more flexibility in their buying options. If you do get the subscription, there are video specific review cards and quizzes, which I know some people use them and they think they're super helpful. I personally don't use them. I just watch the videos and then I am an Anki person. So I use the Anki or like Zonki updated step prep, step one deck. And it's easy to search for the specific video tag pull out those cards and study them really quick. So that's kind of the rundown pros, cons of Sketchy. Now let's move on to Pixarize. So Pixarize is newer. They're only a couple of years old, but they are definitely giving Sketchy a literal run for their money. Not only is it a fantastic resource with great content focused in specifically on some of the more difficult concepts and topics, it's a lot cheaper than Sketchy too. There are five major sections as of right now, pharmacology, biochem, immunology, microbiology, and neuroanatomy. Now, farm, biochem, and immuno are the three main ones. Apparently it looks like it because you can buy each of those individually for 130 a year. Or you can get access to all five, so including the micro and the neuroanatomy, for only 200. So Pixarize is the more affordable option, especially considering the fact that micro and farm for Pixarize are on the same level quality-wise as Sketchy's. Micro and Farm. Remember, Sketchy and Micro and Farm are the two that I mentioned were like gold, right? And to me, the quality of the memory hooks and ease of recall after you watch and review, I find that them to be on the same level. So with that in mind, Pixarize seems to be the better bang for your buck, at least in this med student's humble opinion. Now a pain point for Pixarize though, are their pathology related videos, kind of similar to 
Sketchy's weakness. They don't have a path category per se, but they have lung cancer videos, neurological disorder videos, etc. that were not super helpful. Maybe because it's better to have actually real pictures of like the histology and actual real patient presentations in your mind when you think of these pathologies rather than like a cartoon sketch. Pathophysiology is a lot more like integration than straight memorization, you know? And it's hard to convey that integration well through a cartoon. For this reason, Pathoma, another third party resource, is still regarded by most med students as the gold standard pathophysiology res resource. One more point here. Immunology is the bane of my existence. I hate it. It's the worst. Ask anyone who knows me. Tanner. Tanner. Huh. What is the school thing that I complain about the most? Oh, uh, immunology. <laughs> that was such a fast answer. <laughs> yeah, so I hate it. It hates me back. But I've been working on myself lately, and I'm proud to say that Immuno and I have really started getting along better and working through our differences. And I'd like to thank Pixarize for making this happen. <laughs> okay, no, but really though, I like how Pixarize breaks down immunology specifically into bite-sized pieces that like I can wrap my head around. Sketchy's immuno section just did not work as well for me. Overall, Pixarize has shorter, simpler videos with less pathophysiology mixed in, which could be good or bad depending on what you want. If you're like me and you prefer shorter, simpler sketches, Pixarize might be your thing. If you like more detail and pathophysiology integration into the videos, and you don't mind longer videos, Sketchy might actually be your thing. And another thing I like about Pixarize on their website, you can you know click on their videos and they'll have like a summary and key points description of each video. So that's nice to just kind of go and really quickly review without having to rewatch the video if you've already watched it before, but you just need a quick refresher. I found that to be helpful too. So to summarize, I personally use a mix of Sketchy and Pixarize for micro and farm. Then Sketchy only for some pathology videos and Pixarize only for immuno biochem and some neuroanatomy here and there. As a rule of thumb, sketch type learning like Sketchy and Pixarize should really only be used for like straight memorization of details and facts. This is probably the reason why Sketchy Path never really quite caught on with people and why Pixarize's pathophys related videos aren't a 10 out of 10. With pathology questions, it's much better to understand how the whole system works. And that comprehensive like integration is hard to replicate in a sketch. And if you're still like, eh, I don't know which one to go with, look up either one on YouTube. Each company has some of their videos up just for people to watch and kind of get a feel for what their stuff is like. So you can test them out and see which one you like better and which one works better for you memory wise. The earlier you get familiar with these resources, the better off you will be for any kind of standardized testing and all, you know, that includes step exams, but also rotations, shelf exams, anything. And that's the rundown for today. And I know that was a lot of information. So if you have any questions or comments about any of these resources or other third party resources that you've heard about, comment down below, let me know, DM me. I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Love you all. Have an awesome rest of your day or noche and catch you next week. 